you know between 1765 and 1938 the british isles stole 45 trillion dollars pounds from india 45 trillion sterling from india we never got paid for that when the british left india when we threw the british out our literacy rate was 13% so much for several hundred years of so called civilization meanwhile our landscapes were destroyed you know coal was foisted on india you foisted coal on us you were the ones that came and made us coal dependent and then you left and now you dare to condescend to us when i listened to boris johnson when i listened to people like joe biden when i listen even more to emmanuel macron all i can think of is how condescending you are you condescended to us 400 years ago you condescended to us 300 years ago you condescended to us 200 years ago you condescended to us 100 years ago you're condescending to us today you only know condescension because for you colonialism isn't something that happened in the past and we defeated we defeated you it's not that for you colonialism is a permanent condition and that permanent condition happens in two ways there's the permanent condition of the colonial mentality you want to lecture us you want to tell us that we are responsible for all the problems because you'll never accept that you're the one principally to blame you signed the rio formula in 1992 on common and differentiated responsibilities you like the common part you like the common part you like to say we're all in this together and so on we're not in this together the united states 4 5% of the world's population still uses 25% of the world's resources you outsource production to china and then you say china is the carbon polluter china's producing your buckets china's producing your nuts and bolts china's producing your phones try to produce it in your own countries and see your carbon emissions rise you love lecturing us because you have a colonial mentality then there are colonial structures and institutions you lend us money and every time you lend us money which is our money which is our money every time the international monetary fund comes to our societies and they tell us here's the money we are giving you we are giving you no it's our money you give us our money back as debt and then you lecture us about how we should live it's extraordinary it's not just a colonial mentality it's a colonial structures and institutions which reproduce themselves year after year after year and let me tell you something the climate justice movement not clued in, in enough on this not clued enough on this the climate justice movement is a movement that says we're worried about our future what future what future children in the african continent in asia in latin america they don't have a future they don't have a present they're not worried about the future they're worried about their present your slogan is we're worried about the future what future that's a middle class bourgeois western slogan you got to be worried about now 2.7 billion people can't eat now and you're telling people reduce your consumption how does this sound to a child who hasn't eaten in days you got a clue into this guys you got a clue into this otherwise this movement will have no legs in the third world no legs later i'd like to tell you about the international people's assembly a network of 200 political organizations that were setting up rooted in the global south we want to tell you what our issues are but are you willing to listen